This is Mike from SparkFun Engineering introducing you to the new RedBot kit. This is the RedBot mainboard. It is Arduino compatible. The Arduino IDE thinks it is an Arduino Uno for programming purposes. It comes pre-populated with headers with eight analog inputs and four digital I.O. pins, which can be used to directly to control servo motors. It comes with an XB header and a switch to switch between a software serial port and a hardware serial port. It is pre-configured to program via XB, although you'll have to change the bootloader out to do that. It has a power switch and a motor disable switch so that you can program it on your desk without having it drive off on you. Along with the RedBot mainboard, we're releasing a couple of sensor boards. The first one is a line sensor that comes with the headers pre-attached and you can just point that down at the surface that you're driving on and use it to detect lines or table edges. We also have a small accelerometer board which is designed to mate directly to the header pins on the RedBot board. The library support for the RedBot bot includes bump detection with the accelerometer so that you can use the accelerometer to detect when the robot runs into something or if the user is to tap on it to use it as a user input function. The RedBot board and sensors are designed to play with the Magician chassis. The board mounts directly to mounting holes on the chassis itself. You plug the battery pack directly into it and away you go. Here's our assembled red bot just sitting on the table waiting for me to tap the accelerometer to get it started. You can see where the accelerometer has been placed on there. I've also got three line sensors down on the front and I have those pulled back up here connected to the analog input sensors. It's gonna drive forward looking for a line. When it finds the line, it'll try and follow it around the table. It does a pretty good job of tracking, but you'll see once in a while it misses it. This is just our example. If you think you can do better, by all means, go pick up a red bot, try your hand at programming. So that's the new red bot. Check the product page for libraries and software support and example programs. And look for more red bot products in the coming weeks.